monsters. A, B, C, A, B, C monsters. A, B, C monsters. With Alice and Brian and Cherry Berry too. They're seeking of monsters. There are a few. And Alphabet Garden is the monsters' home. But they like to wonder. They love to roam. It's a blustery day here in Capital Town. The wind is so strong, it's blowing the leaves off the trees. I wonder what's happening in Capital Castle. Shall we take a look and see? Look, there's you, Monster, holding his umbrella. H Monster is trying to hold on to his hat. The ABC monsters are being blown all over Alphabet Garden. The wind is too strong for them. One of the ABC monsters could easily be blown away and we'd never know. We better check that everyone is here. And with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song and help Alice find the missing letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. One of the ABC monsters is missing. Can you guess which one? U, V, X, Y, hmm. Oh, I know! That's right! The missing letter is W! W Monster is missing! He must have been blown away in the wind! We must find W Monster! I know! Let's look in the ABC book! The clue says Wanda needs to make white sweaters with this material. Hey! The ABC book is telling us to go southeast. Southeast is over there. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. We need to find some white material that can make sweaters. Suddenly, something white and fluffy bounded past. Look over there. Can you guess what it is? It's a sheep. Yes, and it's white. Let's follow it. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry followed the sheep through the woods until it came to a small wooden cabin. Look over there, Brian. I recognize this house. It belongs to Wanda. Wanda the Weaver. What's a weaver? A weaver is someone who weaves thread like cotton and wool into material. The material is then made into clothes. That's why the sheep is visiting Wanda. Wool comes from sheep. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here? We're looking for our friend W Monster. He went missing from Alphabet Garden today. Have you seen him? Yes, he was here a short time ago. I can even give you a clue to help you find him. Brilliant! But first, I need your help with something. What do you need us to do, Wanda? I'm going to be making some nice, warm, woolly sweaters for the winter. But I need to know if I have enough white wool. I need you to count all the white balls of wool in that basket over there. Don't worry, Wanda. We'll count them for you. Can you help Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry count the white balls of wool? Remember, we only want the white balls of wool. One, two, three. Oh dear, that's not white, is it? That is a blue ball of wool. Four, five, six. Well done! You found all of them. Six white balls of wool. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Thank you, 
good for sorting out my white wool. Now I'll be able to make some white woolly sweaters. Whoa! Of course, wool is the answer to the clue. W-O-O-L. Wool! It fits! As a special thank you, I'll make each of you a nice warm sweater. Thank you, Wanda. But first, here's a clue to help you find W Monster. Wendy the window cleaner has run out of this and needs you to fetch more. I hope you manage to find W Monster soon. Thank you, Wanda. And so Alice, Brian and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Wander the Weaver and continued on their quest. I'm feeling very confident about the next clue. The clue has a picture of the capital town's wishing well, and I know exactly where it is. Where? I'll show you. It's over there. Now we need to find Wendy the window cleaner. Can you help find Wendy the window cleaner? <laughs> there she is. Well done. You found Wendy. Hello, Wendy. What's happened here? A dog has just knocked over my bucket, and now the water is tipped all over the floor. How will I be able to clean Miss Wellington's window? Don't worry, Wendy. We can help. Yes, we can fetch you some more water from the wishing well. The wishing well is full of water. Brian needs your help to get it. Can you help him turn the handle like this? Here we go. The bucket has reached the bottom of the well and is filling up with water. Brian now needs your help turning the handle again. Only this time, we have to turn the handle in the opposite direction. Are you ready? The bucket is very heavy with water. Brian needs you to help him turn that handle. Come on, everybody. Heave! 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 <laughs> Well done, everybody! You've helped Brian get the water from the well. You found some water for me! Thank you! I'll be able to finish cleaning Miss Wellington's windows. Water! That's it! Water is the word we were looking for. W-A-T-E-R! Water! We did it! We're another step closer to finding W Monster. W Monster? Are you looking for him? Yes, he's gone missing from Alphabet Garden. I think I can help you. I was talking to him today. See if you can work out this clue. W Monster is on Windy Hill watching this. I hope that was useful to you. I'm sure you'll find W Monster soon. Thank you, Wendy. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry wave goodbye to their friend Wendy the window cleaner and headed off to Windy Hill. Wow, I thought it was Windy in town. But Windy Hill sure has some windy wind. Yes, it's really hard to walk against it. If you think walking's difficult, try flying against the wind. Wow! Look over there! It's the windmill! Cool! Can you see W Monster yet? There he is! Well done! It's W Monster! We found him! Hooray! <laughs> Hello everyone! Have you come to see the windmill too? It's very big, but what does it do? This is Willie Webster's windmill, Willie A. Miller. The windmill sails turn in the wind. This turns the prop shaft inside the windmill, which makes the huge millstones turn. The millstones grind up the wheat grains to make flour. Once the wheat has been turned into flour, Willie puts it into sacks so that it can be transported to the baker to make bread. 
Wow, all that from wind. Yes, wind can be very useful. Anyway, I just like watching the windmill sails turn in the wind. When I saw how windy it was today, I just had to come up to Windy Hill to watch Willie Webster's windmill. Wait a minute. The last clue in the ABC book. W Monster is on Windy Hill watching this. The answer is windmill. W-I-N-D-M-I-L-L. Windmill. Windmill is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found W Monster. Hooray! And so that W Monster wouldn't miss seeing his windmill, Cherry Berry had a surprise for him. Hooray! I love Wendy Wind. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. And say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. W is a wonderful letter. And today, we'll all be finding out about it with the help of the Brainy Gang's newest member, W Monster. Hello, W Monster. To get the show started, let's sing one of W Monster's favorite songs. A song that is all about the letter W. Are you ready? Monster has got a small windmill on his house. Here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the windmill has turned into? That's right! It's the letter W. W. All together now, say it with me. W. W. The alphabet spins! <laughs> Look at W Monster! He loves things that spin! Let's see if you can write the letter W with W Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big W. Hey, that's really good. Let's do it again. A big W. Well done. A perfect W. <laughs> Look at W Monster. He's very pleased because he can now write his favorite letter, W. Now we know how to write the letter W. Do you know what this material is? Here's a clue. You get it from sheep and you can knit it together to make sweaters or socks. Shout out the answer if you know. That's right. It's called wool. Wool. W O O L. Wool. That's right. Let's say it one more time. Wool. W O O L. Wool. Okay. Here is another puzzle for you to solve. Can you guess what is inside the glass? 
It's clear and wet. It falls from the sky as rain. You can find it in the ocean, rivers, and lakes. But best of all, you can drink it. That's right. It's water. Now let's see what the word water looks like. Water. W A T E R. Water. Water. W A T E R. Water. You've got two of the questions right. Just one more to go. Do you think you can solve the final puzzle? I'm sure you know what this is. Here's a clue. It's large, and when the wind catches its sails, they turn round and round. You use this to grind grain into flour. Do you know the answer? That's right. It's called a windmill. And here's what the word windmill looks like. Say it with me. Windmill. W I N D M I L L. Windmill. That's right. Let's say it together one more time. Windmill. W I N D M I L L. Windmill. Can you think of any more wonderful words that begin with the letter W? Now it's time to get fit and active with another fun-packed ABC monster move. Hello, everyone! Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That was fun, wasn't it? Now you're warmed up. It's time to get active with the ABC monsters. Today, we'll be doing the W monster move. Watch Brian closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy. If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big W. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Are you ready to do it again? A big W. That's right. Now you know the move. We can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Brilliant! You've certainly mastered the W monster move. Now let's take a short break to get your breath back because next it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody, it's Wendy the window cleaner. A dog has just knocked over my bucket, and now the water is tipped all over the floor. How will you clean the windows now, Wendy? I need to get more water from the well, but I don't know how to find it. Don't worry, Wendy, we'll help you. Can you help Wendy find the well and fill her bucket with water? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide Wendy along the path. Listen carefully to the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it W, A, or K? That's right! The correct letter is W. W O O L. Woo! You've correctly worked out the first word, but can you solve the next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter B, F, or is it T? 
Right again! The letter we need to put into the box is T. Water. W A T E R. Water. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it B, M, or could it be the letter X? Fantastic! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter M. Excellent! Three out of three. Windmill. W, I, N, D, M, I, L, L. Windmill. Congratulations! You successfully guided Wendy to the well. Thank you, everyone! Hooray! I hope you enjoyed finding out about the wonderful letter W. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherryberry, and our very special star of the show, W Monster. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Cleaning in Capital Castle. Let's see how the ABC monsters are getting along. Look, everyone, it's F Monster and P Monster. Can you see what they're doing? That's right. Monster is cleaning the slide with his feather duster, and P Monster is polishing the seesaw. And here's Cherryberry. She's with S Monster and X Monster. They are sweeping the bandstand so that it's clean and tidy. I wonder where Brian and B Monster are going. Oh, I know. They're off to empty the rubbish. We've seen Cherryberry and Brian, but where is Alice? There she is! Alice is mopping the steps with clean, soapy water. It looks like everyone is cleaning today. Here comes Queen Scribble. I wonder what she's carrying. Oh dear, Alice. I'm in a pickle today. What's the problem? I was cleaning my favorite portrait of your father when it fell off the wall. It's ruined. Oh, no! What are we going to do? What's that stuff all over King Wordy's face? Hmm. I know what that is. It's candle wax. The portrait fell onto some candles and made this yucky mess. How will I clean it off? Maybe if we assemble all of the ABC monsters, one of them will know what to do. Don't worry, Queen Scribble. 
We'll find a solution. So with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. The ABC monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? V, W, Y, Z. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is X. <gasps> X monster has disappeared. Let's see if the ABC book knows where to find her. The clue says, Xander is looking for a long-haired, bull-like animal with big horns. The ABC book is pointing northwest towards the country. Let's find X Monster. Come on! Soon, Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry were heading along a long and winding country road, and suddenly, We've come to the end of the road. That's strange. The ABC book was pointing this way. Let's see what's beyond the gate. Look who it is. It's Xander. Hello, Xander. Hello, everyone. What's the rope for, Xander? It's for my ox. He wandered away from my dad's farm, and I need the rope to walk him back home. I've never seen an ox before. What does he look like? He's big, brown, and hairy. He has very long horns and a ring through his nose. He looks a little like a bull. X Monster said she'd seen him wandering along the road, so she locked him in this field to keep him safe. We'll help you find him, Xander. Yes, and if we find your ox, you can give us a clue to help us find X Monster. That's a great idea. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find Xander's ox? Look very carefully at the following animals and see if you spot which one is the ox. Remember, oxes are big, hairy, and have very long horns. Well done! You found Xander's ox. Oh, thank you for finding my ox. Ox! That's the answer to the clue. The ABC book said, Xander is looking for a long-haired, bull-like animal with big horns. Xander was looking for his ox. O-X! Ox! Hooray! We've completed the first puzzle. And to help you find X Monster, here's another clue for you to solve. Mr. Fox is looking for his new musical instrument. I hope my clue helps you to track X Monster down soon. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Xander and his ox and continued on their journey. Where's the best place to find musical instrument? I'm not sure. I think I know where to find them. At Mrs. Saxon's music shop. That's a great idea. And I know where the music shop is. Follow me. And before long, Cherryberry had led her friends to Mrs. Saxon's music shop. We're here. Well done, Cherryberry. Hello, children. What can I do for you? We're searching for our friend X Monster. Have you seen her? Yes, she popped into the shop earlier. If you can solve a puzzle for us, we'll give you a clue to track her down. Fantastic! We love puzzles. What would you like us to do? Mr. Fox wants to buy a xylophone, but I only have one left. It's somewhere in the shop. Can you find it for us? Don't worry. We'll find your xylophone. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find a xylophone for Mr. Fox? Remember, 
Xylophones look like small tables with a row of long, thin wooden bars. Can you see one? Well done! You found Mr. Fox's xylophone. Wonderful! Now Mr. Fox will be able to play with his new xylophone. Xylophone, of course! That's what the final clue meant. Mr. Fox is looking for his new musical instrument. He was looking for his xylophone. X, Y, L, O, P, H, O, N, E. Xylophone. Because you've been so clever, here's a clue that will lead you to X Monster. X Monster is at the Waxwork Exhibition. She's getting a dummy of King Wordy that is made from this material. The Waxworks exhibit is being held just around the corner. Really? Yes, I've been there before. It's fantastic. What are we waiting for? Let's go! So Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry wave goodbye to Mr. Saxon and Mr. Fox and set off to find the Waxworks Exhibition. The Waxworks exhibit is just down this road. What is the Waxworks exhibition? It's a place where life-size dummies are made of famous stars and historical figures. They look just like real people but are made of wax. <gasps> wow! I can't wait to visit the Waxworks! <laughs> there it is! Look, Cherry Berry. There's some figures in the window. They look amazing! As Cherryberry admired the waxwork dummies in the window, they spotted a familiar figure. Can you guess who it is? It's X Monster! Hello everyone! What are you doing here at the waxworks exhibit? Looking for you! What have you got there? It's a waxwork dummy of King Wordy. It's for Queen Scribble to replace her ruined portrait. It looks just like him. Queen Scribble will be pleased. I got the idea when Queen Scribble mentioned that the portrait was covered in wax. That's when I remembered that lifelike dummies of people are made of wax. Wax! That's it! X Monster is at the Waxwork Exhibition. She's getting a dummy of King Wordy that is made from this material. The dummy is made of wax. W-A-X. Wax. Wax is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles. Met new friends. And found X Monster. Hooray! <laughs> Queen Scribble was delighted with her wax version of King Wordy. This is such a wonderful present, X Monster. I'm going to put it in my favorite room, the library. Then I'll be able to admire it every day. Hooray! I've got a wax dummy that's sturdy like King Wordy. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about an extraordinary letter of the alphabet, the letter X. This letter is so unusual that you rarely find it at the start of a word but within a word. Before we find out more about the letter X, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang. X-Monster. X-Monster loves songs, so we're all going to sing a brand new song just for her. Are you ready? Help is here with Monster Rex Catching an ox all on her own And trying to play the xylophone Making a dummy that's made of wax 
subjects. Help is here with Monster X, catching an ox all on her own and trying to play the xylophone. everyone, it's X-Monster, and she's standing next to King Wordy. Hey, that's not King Wordy. It's a dummy that is made of wax. Here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the wax dummy of King Wordy has turned into? That's right. It's the letter X. X. All together now, say it with me. <laughs> Look at X Monster. She's trying to put the crown back on the letter X. Let's see if you can write the letter X with X Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big X. That's right. Well done. Let's try and do another big X. You've just written the letter X. <laughs> X Monster is very happy because we can all write her favorite letter, X. Now we all know how to write the letter X, take a look at the following words that use the letter X. Do you know what this animal is called? Here's a clue. It's a large, hairy, bull-like creature that has very long horns. Have you worked out what it's called? Shout out the answer if you know. That's right. It's an ox. Ox. O, X, ox. That's right. Let's say it one more time. Ox. O, X, ox. Are you ready for another puzzle? Okay, here's puzzle number two. Can you guess what this musical instrument is called? It's long, has many musical bars that make a tinkling sound when you hit them with sticks. Do you know what it's called? That's right! It's called a xylophone. Now let's see what the word xylophone looks like. Xylophone. X, Y, L, O, P, H, O, N, E. Xylophone. Brilliant. Let's say that again. Xylophone. X Y L O P H O N E. Xylophone. You've answered both questions correctly. Let's see if you can solve the third and final question. Here it is. Take your time and think carefully. Do you know what this candle is made of? Here's a clue. It's a soft material that melts very easily when heated. Queen Scribble has a dummy of King Wordy that is made of the same material. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's wax! And here's what the word wax looks like. Say it with me. Wax. W a X. Wax. That's right. Let's say it together once more. Wax. W A X. Wax. Can you think of any more exciting words that begin with the letter X? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun packed ABC monster move. Welcome, everybody. Stand up if you want to have some fun. Now, clap your hands in the air like this. Excellent! Let's get active with the ABC Monsters. Today, we'll be doing the X Monster exercise. Watch Brian closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy. If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big X. 
That's it! That was easy, wasn't it? Shall we try that again? A big X! That's it! Now that you know the X monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four, and three! was fun! Let's see if you can do it again! Are you ready? Okay then! One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four, and three! Two, three, four, four, two, three, four! Brilliant! You successfully completed the X monster move! Let's have a short rest to get our breath back! Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest! Look everybody! It's Mrs. Saxon from the music shop! Hello everyone! What's wrong, Mrs. Saxon? I'm trying to find a xylophone in my shop. I have a customer who wants to buy it. Don't worry, Mrs. Saxon. We'll help you find your xylophone. Can you help Mrs. Saxon find her xylophone? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it O, V, or the letter E? That's right! The correct letter is O. Ox. O. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter S, A, or F? That's right! The letter we need to put into the box is A. W A X Wax Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it W? I? Or could it be the letter H? Brilliant answer! You successfully picked the correct letter again. The letter H. Well done! Three out of three. Xylophone. X, Y, L, O, P, H, O, N, E. Xylophone. Well done! You've cleverly guided Mrs. Saxon to the xylophone. Thank you for finding the xylophone for my customer. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, Extraordinary X. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, X Monster. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Don't forget to join the Brain Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the A B C Monsters. Cherry Berry too. They're 
seeking out monsters, there are a few. And Alphabet Garden is the monster's home, but they like to wonder, they love to roam. ABC Monsters, ABC Monsters, just look and see. ABC Monsters, ABC Monsters, here for you and me. Hello everyone, and welcome to another wonderful day in Capital Town. There's Capital Castle. I wonder what the ABC monsters are doing today. Let's take a look inside. Oh dear, it's very quiet. There's nobody in the playground. Listen, can you hear that? It's music. Let's see where it's coming from. That's a relief. We've managed to find everyone. Look, there's Queen Scribble. She's teaching everybody to do yoga. And there's Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Yoga is a fun and easy way to stretch and exercise. <laughs> Although it seems that F Monster and X Monster are having a little trouble. It looks like all the ABC monsters are in need of extra yoga practice. Queen Scribble is doing a new yoga pose. Let's see if the ABC monsters can do this one. <laughs> the ABC monsters are obviously having a lot of fun. Here comes King Wordy. What's that in his hand? It's a piece of string. Hello, everyone. Have you seen my yo-yo? It was attached to this piece of string, but now it's gone. Oh, dear. Where could it be? Maybe the ABC monsters know where it is. That's a good idea. Let's round them up and find out. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. The ABC monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? V, W, X, Z. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is Y. Y monster is missing this morning. Let's see if the ABC book knows where to find him. The clue says... Yasmin Young is looking for a hairy type of animal with big horns. The ABC book is pointing towards the countryside. Let's find Y Monster. Come on! Soon, Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry were heading along a quiet country road when suddenly the quiet was interrupted by. What's that? Strange noise. It's very loud. It sounds like a bell ringing. The ringing is coming from behind those bushes. Let's check it out. <laughs> it's a bell. Somebody is ringing it. Look, everybody. It's Yasmin Young. She's ringing a cowbell. I wonder why. We should go over and say hello. <laughs> hello, Yasmin. What are you doing? I'm looking for my yak. He's big, hairy, and has big horns. Why Monster said he'd seen him in this field. But why are you ringing the bell? This is a cowbell. My yak likes the sound it makes. He usually comes to me when I ring it. It doesn't seem to be working today. Maybe he's hiding. If he is hiding, he's very good at it. I can't see him anywhere. We might be able to help you find him, Yasmin. Yes. If we find your yak, you can give us a clue to help find Y-Monster. That's a wonderful idea. Can you help 
Alice, Ryan, and Cherry Berry find Yasmin's yak? Look very carefully and see if you can spot him. Is he behind the haystacks? The tractor? The bushes? Or the trees? Well done! You found Yasmin's yak. He was hiding behind the haystack. Oh, thank you. You found my big hairy yak. Yak! That's the answer to the clue. The ABC book said Yasmin Young is looking for a hairy type of animal with big horns. Yasmin was looking for her yak. Y-A-K. Yak! Hooray! We've completed the first puzzle. And to help you find why, Monster, here's another clue for you to solve. Yvonne wants to paint her yacht in a lovely sunny color. I hope my clue was helpful for you and that you managed to track Y Monster down soon. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Yasmin Young and continued on their journey. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry arrive at the harbor. Why have we come here, Cherry Berry? Because. The clue mentioned a yacht. The harbor is the best place to find a yacht. Yachts are the best boats. I just love sailing in them. I can see someone near the wooden jetty. Let's start looking there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What are you doing here? We're looking for Y Monster. Have you seen him today? Yes, he helped me carry these tins of paint from the shop. What color are you painting your yacht, Yvonne? Yellow. But I'm not sure which tin contains the yellow paint. We're good at spotting colors. Well, if you can help me find the correct tin, I'll give you a clue that will lead you all to Y Monster. Fantastic! Let's help Alice Brian and Cherry Berry find Yvonne's yellow paint. Is that it? No, that's a red paint tin. Could this be the yellow paint? No, that's blue. I wonder which one it is. Can you see it yet? That's right, you found Yvonne's yellow paint. Well done. Thank you for finding the correct color. My yacht will look bright and sunny when it's painted yellow. Yellow! That's the answer to the second clue. Yvonne wants to paint her yacht in a lovely sunny color. So the answer must be yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Yellow! Here's the clue that I promised would lead you to Y Monster. Why Monster has gone to the toy shop to get King Wordy's favorite toy repaired. Hey, I know where the toy shop is. Really? Yes, I always visit the toy shop. It's one of the best places in Capital Town. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Good luck finding Why Monster. Thank you, Yvonne. So Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry wave goodbye to Yvonne and set off to the toy shop. The toy shop isn't far now. I wonder which toy Y Monster is getting repaired. The clue said that it was King Wordy's favorite toy. He's got so many toys. I wonder which one it is. We'll soon find out. Look, it's the toy shop. Brilliant! Let's go and see if we can find Y Monster. <laughs> Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry arrived at the toy shop. I'm very excited. Why, Brian? Because today we get to find Y Monster and visit the toy shop. <laughs> can you see who I can see? It's Y Monster. Uh, hello, everyone. What are you doing here at the toy shop? Looking for you. What are you doing here? 
Uh, I came to get King Wordy's yo-yo fixed. Uh, the string snapped, so I brought it here, and the shopkeeper repaired it. See, it works again. <laughs> good as new. Wow, you're very good with the yo-yo. I'm not as good as King Wordy. He knows all sorts of fancy tricks. <laughs> He'll be happily surprised when you return it to him. Maybe he'll teach you some of his tricks. I hope so. I'd love to be as good as King Wordy with the yo-yo. <laughs> yo-yo! That's the answer to the final clue. Why Monster has gone to the toy shop to get King Wordy's favorite toy repaired. King Wordy's favorite toy must be his yo-yo. Y O Y O! Yo-yo! Yo-Yo is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found Y Monster. Hooray! King Wordy was so happy that his Yo-Yo had been repaired, he taught Y Monster his favorite trick. So he could perform in front of all his friends. Hooray! <laughs> I put on a great show with my big yellow yo-yo. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about the letter Y. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang. Y Monster. Y Monster thinks singing is fun. So we're all going to sing a great new song for him. Are you ready? the letter Y with Y Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then, we're drawing a big Y. That's right. Let's try and do another big Y. You've just written the letter Y. Well done. <laughs> y Monster is very happy because we can all write his favorite letter, Y. Now that we all know how to write the letter Y, let's take a look at the following words that begin with... <laughs> you guessed it! Y! 
Here's a tin of paint. But can you tell me what color it contains? This is a primary color that is the same color as the sun. Have you worked out what it is yet? Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's the color yellow. Yellow. Y E L L O W. Yellow. That's right. Let's say it one more time. Yellow. Y E L L O W. Yellow. Are you ready to solve puzzle number two? Okay, here's another one. Can you guess what this animal is called? He's big, hairy, and has horns on his head. You often find this type of animal in the Himalayas. That's right, it's a yak. Now let's see what the word yak looks like. Yak. Why? A K Yak Excellent! Let's say that again. Yak Y A K Yak You're doing very well. You've answered two questions correctly. Let's see if you can get the third and final question right as well. Do you know what this object is called? Here is a clue. You can flick this object up and down a string. With lots of practice, you can do tricks with it. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's called a yo-yo. And here's what the word yo-yo looks like. Say it with me. Yo-yo. Y-O-Y-O. Yo-yo. That's right. Let's say it together once more. Yo-yo. Y-O-Y-O. Yo-yo. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter Y? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move. Hello, everybody. Stand up and get ready to have some fun. Now, clap your hands in the air like this. Great work, everyone! Now it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the Y Monster Move. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big Y. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Shall we try that again? A big Y! That's it! Now that you know the Y monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four! And three! That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Brilliant! You've successfully completed the Y monster move. Let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's our old friend, Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here, Yvonne? I'm looking for my yacht, but the jetty is so big, I can't find it. Don't worry, Yvonne. We'll help you find your yacht. Can you help lead Yvonne back to her yellow yacht? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the jetty. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it P, K, or the letter R? 
That's right. The correct letter is K. Yak. Y A K. Yak. You solved the first word correctly. But can you work out this second puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter F, L, or Y? That's right! The letter we need to put into the box is Y. Yo-yo. Y, O, Y, O. Yo-yo. Well done. Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it E, P, or could it be the letter Z? Excellent answer! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter E. Well done! Three out of three. Yellow. Y. E-L-L-O-W Yellow Well done! You've cleverly guided Yvonne to her yellow yacht. Thank you for guiding me back to my yacht. Now I can sail out to view the beautiful sea. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter Y. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, Y Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join the Brain Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Take a look and see. Wow, the main road is busy today. Look at all that traffic. Can you see some familiar faces? That's right. It's our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. They're with King Wordy and Z Monster. I wonder what they're doing. There's way too much traffic. It's too dangerous to cross the road. Oh, dear. And I was so looking forward to going to the zoo. Sorry, Sea Monster. Maybe we'll be able to go tomorrow instead. Poor Sea Monster. She really wanted to visit the zoo today. Meanwhile, in Alphabet Garden, the ABC monsters are playing happily. That looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Could I have everyone's attention, please? I have a very important announcement. I have some disappointing news. 
Because of the busy road outside, we won't be able to cross safely and visit the zoo. Don't worry. Tomorrow, Z-Monster and I will check and see if the road is clear. If it is, we can all go to the zoo. Just then, Ryan noticed something strange. I can't see Z-Monster. Where has she gone? You're right. I can't see her anywhere. You'd better check to see if all the ABC monsters are here. So, with a wave of cherry berries gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. See monsters is missing, but can you guess which one? V W X Y. Hmm. I'm sure there's supposed to be another letter. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is Z. Oh no, Z monster is missing. Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find her. The clue says Zola needs to skateboard along an odd-shaped path. The ABC book is telling us to go northwest. Look, it's pointing towards King Wordy's wood. It wasn't long before Alice, Brian and Cherryberry found themselves walking through King Wordy's wood. I like it here. There are so many interesting pathways. Yes. They leap all over the place. Look out, everyone! Thank you. Hey, wasn't that... Zola! Quick, we have to catch up with her. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry ran after Zola as fast as their legs would carry them. Look over there! Are you looking for me? Yes. We were told that you might be able to help us find Z-Monster. I met Z-Monster earlier. If you can solve a problem for me, I'll give you a clue to help find her. We like solving problems. Great. Here's my problem. There are four paths at this crossroads. And I want to use my skateboard on the zigzag path. Which one is the zigzag path? Don't worry, Zola. Leave it to us. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find the zigzag path for Zola? Look carefully and shout out the answer when you found it. Is it path one? No, that's a straight line. Is it path two? No, that's a curved line. A zigzag path bends sharply from one side to the other. Can you see a path like that? Is it path three? That's right! Path three is the zigzag path. Well done! Thank you all so much! Now I'll be able to have fun skateboarding along the zigzag path. Zigzag! That's the answer to the clue. The clue says Zola needs to skateboard along an odd-shaped path. Z I G Z A G Zigzag. Hooray! We solved the first puzzle. And I have another puzzle that will bring you even closer to finding Z Monster. Zoe the zookeeper is trying to catch this strange-looking creature. I hope my clue helps you find Z Monster. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to their new friend Zola and continued on their journey. I wonder where we'll find Zoe the zookeeper. Suddenly, Cherryberry heard a voice. Oh, Ziggy! Where are you, Ziggy? Ziggy! Hey! That sounds like somebody shouting. The voice is coming from over there. Let's check it out. Just then, Alice spotted someone very important. Look, it's 
Zoe the zookeeper. What are you doing out here, Zoe? I'm looking for a lost Zorilla called Ziggy. He escaped from the zoo. I need to catch him so that I can take him home. He should be in bed. What's a Zorilla? Does it look like a gorilla? <laughs> no, silly. A Zorilla is small with black fur and has bright white stripes running down its back. It usually only comes out at night and looks like a weasel or a skunk. Don't worry, Zoe. We'll help you find Ziggy the Zorilla if you can help us find our friend, Z-Monster. That's a great idea, and I've got the perfect clue for you as a reward. Let's help Zoe find Ziggy the Zorilla. Are you ready? Watch carefully and see if you can see him. Is this floppy-eared animal a Zorilla? No, it's a rabbit. Could this short-sighted creature be a Zorilla? No, it's a mole. Is this slippery reptile a Zorilla? No, it's a slippery snake. What about this odd-looking character? Could he be a Zorilla? That's right, he is a Zorilla. Well done, you found Ziggy the Zorilla. Now I'll be able to return to the zoo now that I have Ziggy the Zorilla. Zorilla, that's the answer to the second clue. Zoe the zookeeper is trying to catch this strange looking creature. The strange looking creature she was trying to catch was a Zorilla. Z O R I L L A. Zorilla. Thank you all for finding Ziggy. As a reward, here's a clue that will lead you to Z-Monster. Z-Monster is at the zoo. She's with a black and white striped animal that looks like a horse. Follow me and I'll take you to the zoo. So Alice, Brian and Cherryberry followed Zoe and Ziggy to the zoo. While Zoe went with Ziggy, Alice and her friends paid a visit to the animal enclosures. Oh, there are many kinds of animals here. Can you guess what this animal is called? That's right, it's called a zebra. It's Z Monster. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here, Z Monster? I came to see my favorite animal, the zebra. They have such beautiful black and white stripes that everyone just has to stop and admire them. Yes, zebras are very pretty. Well, I had an idea that might help King Woody with his traffic problem. We can get all the cars to stop using the stripes from a zebra. That's a brilliant idea. Wait a minute. Zebra. That's the answer to the final clue. Z-E-B-R-A. Zebra. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found Sea Monster. Hooray! Back at Capital Castle, King Wordy and Queen Scribble can now take all the ABC monsters across the road to the zoo using Capital Town's first zebra crossing, all thanks to Sea Monster's brilliant idea. Everyone got for zebra. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about the zany letter Z. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, Z Monster. Hello, Z Monster. Z Monster loves to sing as she zips around Alphabet Garden, so we're all going to sing a great new song for her. Are you ready?
monster Z is in a stew. She just wants to visit the zoo. Skateboarding down a zigzag lane to catch a zorilla using your brain. Monster Z is in a stew. She just wants to visit the zoo. Meeting creatures of different types. Traffic with stops with Z. Monster Z is in a zoo. She just wants to visit the zoo. Skateboarding down a zigzag lane to catch a zorilla using your brain. Monster Z is in a zoo. She just wants to visit the zoo. Meeting creatures of different types. Traffic with stops. Here's Z Monster. Look, she's feeding her favorite animal, a zebra. Here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the zebra has turned into? That's right, it's the letter Z. Z. All together now, say it with me. Z. <laughs> Look at silly Z Monster. She's trying to feed the letter Z leaves. Let's see if you can write the letter Z with Z Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then, we're drawing a big Z. That's right, let's try and do another big Z. Well done, you did it! <laughs> Z Monster's very happy because you can now write her favorite letter, Z. Now we all know how to write the letter Z. Take a look at the following words that begin with. <laughs> That's right, Z. Do you know what shape this path is? It's a very wobbly shape. It bends sharply up, then down, then up and down again. Have you worked out what it is yet? Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's a zigzag! Zigzag! Z I G Z A G. Zigzag! That's right! Let's say it one more time. Zigzag! Z I G Z A G. Zigzag! Here's another puzzle. Are you ready? Can you guess what this funny-looking animal is called? It looks a lot like a skunk and its name rhymes with gorilla. Think carefully and shout out the answer. That's right! It's called a zorilla. Now let's see what the word zorilla looks like. Zorilla. Z O R I L L A. Zorilla. Excellent. Let's say that again. Zorilla. Z O R I L L A. Zorilla. You've got two questions right. Let's see if you can solve the third and final puzzle. Do you know what this black and white striped animal is called? Here's a clue. It looks a lot like a horse. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's a zebra! And here's what the word zebra looks like. Say it with me. Zebra. Z-E-B-R-A. Zebra. That's right! Let's say it together once more. Zebra. Z. -E Can you think of any more words that begin with the zany letter Z? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hello everybody! 
Stand up and get ready to have some fun. Now clap your hands in the air like this. Great work, everyone. Now, it's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the Z Monster Move. Watch Brian closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy. If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big Z. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Shall we try that again? A big Z. That's it. Now that you know the Z monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. That was fun. Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Brilliant! You've successfully completed the Z monster move. Let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's time for the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Zoe the Zookeeper. What are you doing here, Zoe? Hello, everyone. I need to return Ziggy to the zoo. But I'm lost. Don't worry, Zoe. We'll help you and Ziggy find the zoo. Can you help Zoe return Ziggy the Zorilla to the zoo? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide her along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it T, I, or the letter M? That's right! The correct letter is I. Zigzag. Z I G Z A G. Zigzag. <laughs> you got the first puzzle right. But can you work out the answer to puzzle number two? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter O. Or e. That's right! The letter we need to put into the box is O. Zorilla. Z O R I L L A. Zorilla. Well done! <laughs> now for the final puzzle. Which letter should we put into the box? Is it G, B, or could it be the letter U? Excellent answer! You've successfully picked the correct letter again. The letter B. Well done! Zebra. Z, E, B, R, A. Zebra. Fantastic! You've cleverly guided Zoe and Ziggy along the path. Thank you for helping take Ziggy home to the zoo. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about our letter of the day, Zany Z. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, Z Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, Get to join.
join the Brain Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. <laughs>